May I come in, sir? Come. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Please. Thank you, sir. Dhruva. Sir. Dhruva is from Tikamgad. Sir, my father was from Tikamgad. I was born in Chhatarpur. Chhatarpur. Yes, sir. How far is Chhatarpur from Tikamgad? Sir, both are in Mundelkhand region, around 150 kilometers. Mundelkhand. Yes. Okay. What are the challenges in Mundelkhand region? So the critical thing is, sir, there is a environmental, ecological, degraded area. Second would be, sir, environmentally also pause area. And sir, third is, uh, sir, there is an ex exodus of the people Why? because of uh, sir lack of economic activities. The critical factor would be the water, sir. So major challenge is water. Yes, sir. Critical. What act. governments have been doing for that, sir? So first is uh, that has been recently in the news, Kane Betwa Link project has been there. And second sir, a small uh, farm pond project is also going on very successfully over there sir. So apart from that sir, even the, uh, the society and the farmers have adapted to different form of agriculture and changed their crops sir. Because agriculture has been the mainstay of that, uh, that region's economy sir. And I think big infrastructure something is also being done. Yes, sir. Kane Betwa link. So, one no, canal. Not, not other than link. Some Mundelkhand uh, expressway or some. Yes, sir. Uh, that expressway is being developed. Sir, already developed and it is active right now, sir. It's only developed? Sir, yes, sir. It has connected till Jhansi hmm. and uh, the other routes are getting developed, sir. Sir, okay. this. What are your views on Kane Betwa river linking? You should be there. You being going to be a forest officer. Sir, there are two aspects, sir. Uh, first, if we see from the whole region's point of view, sir, water has been a critical factor there. So, sir, water is required, else, else, uh, sir, the uh, the region would go into more of uh, ex exodus would be there. And sir, this has been the case since long. I think since 1997, I have been seeing that. And uh, sir, second would be, sir, if we talk about the uh, the second constraint. That is the core area is getting submerged due to the formation of the dam. So which core area? This sir of Panna National Park, sir. Mm -hmm. So sir, regarding that, uh, sir, we have to compensate it through compensatory forestation and uh, sir, uh, getting the other regions. Uh, but to can you compensate community. it through compensatory forestation? That those natural forest core area, tiger habitat, can you compensate, sir? Uh, uh, to say it honestly, sir, it would take a long time, sir. Long time? How much? 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, 200 sir, years? Sir, if we see the main species there, sir, then that would be teak and uh, other plants such as Anogesis uh, pendula. So, they take around 40, 80 years in okay, natural Okay, okay. Your father is Ayush officer? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, he sir. is in Ayurveda or? Sir, he was Ayurvedic uh, Ayurveda. doctor, sir. Achha. Uh, very uh, this uh, government uh, have created two commissions you know something about that two national commissions sir uh, so recently there was a law regarding sorry sir i'm unaware right now national commission recall. on uh, indian gist of medicine and yes, another sir. one is there sir, homeopathy sir homeopathy i cannot recall sir this one i knew sir Achha. okay <clears throat> Uh, next month, uh, some very important elections are going to be held. Any idea? Sir, in Madhya Pradesh, or sir, in <coughs> Madhya Pradesh, uh, sir, it is Panchayati Raj elections that are going to be held. For, uh, at the national level, two very important elections are going to be held. Sir, I cannot recall as of no, this no. moment, sir. Elections for the post of resident and Okay, sir. Sir, sir, president, sir, I cannot. Uh, and and other one, sir. I believe that would be vice president. And vice president. Okay. <clears throat> uh, core infrastructure sectors. Can you tell me name some five six core infrastructure sectors? Sir. Sir. Uh, sir, I am unable to uh, recall exact, but if you would. Give me a moment, uh, then I can. Okay, okay. Yes. Take a moment. So that would be power refinery and uh, so power refinery and uh, so electric. So okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, suppose you are a divisional forest officer and you have a 
forest colony. Hmm? So very big, maybe extension four, five, six hectares. You got quarters for yourself and for the range of sir for the staff. For environmental conservation, what all activities you would like to take? So that that becomes a model forest colony. So. Sir, if permitted, sir, then I would like to make it. Uh, I would take, like to take the raw materials from that region only, and uh, design it in such a way that uh, uh, the it uh, it should not be ex the material cannot be exported from somewhere else, so that uh, uh, it is zero sum uh, for that particular area. No other construction material. Second would be, sir, groundwater harvesting and rainwater harvesting uh, would be there. third would be sir uh, in order to uh, make it a greener building i would uh, i would also like to ensure that uh, there is certain reflective paints on the uh, on the uh, roof so that the temperature remains low and sir i would also like to minimize the area of the construction so that the other maximum area can be dedicated to some sort of uh, Okay, what garden. else? But just tell me what else you can do. One is uh, moisture conservation, water harvesting, and all. What else can be done? Sir, so development of a garden or a mini forest. Sir, hmm. that would be another. And uh, water conservation. Sorry. Composting, biogas plant. Sir, yes? sir, yes, sir. You, sir, that that can all that will be done, sir. Okay. Yeah, composting can be done, sir. Okay. Yes. Majoritarian culture, you heard of? Majoritarian culture. pluralistic society yes sir hmm. what is this culture which is uh, dominated by a single community and uh, can be termed as the majoritarian culture and a pluralistic society in which there is there are many culture which are living co uh, cohabiting with each other so. okay uh, very some very sad incident happened in madhya pradesh relating to madhya pradesh yesterday or so read in the papers Sorry, sir. I have sir. Some accident took place in some other state. Sir, in uh, Uttarakhand, I remember, sir. Yes. Okay, Mr. Srivastava. Yes, sir. So you have uh, participated in uh, Evolution Zero Eight. Sir, what is that? Sir, it was a, a technocultural festival organized at uh, my college, and uh, sir, it was a first time initiated uh, by us because there was no culture. Uh, there was no. President, prior to that, sir, you almost mentioned there was no culture. Anyway, uh, now the issue here: you are a mechanical engineering student. S sir, are you aware of uh, second law of thermodynamics? Yes, sir. Sir, it, it introduces us to the concept of entropy. Mm -hmm. What is entropy? Sir, uh, sir, it can be said as the degree of disorderness in a system, sir. Mm -hmm. It is one-way process. Can it be reversed? Sir. in universe it cannot be reversed but if we take a particular system with the fixed boundary it can be reversed sir. so it means that in nature it cannot be yes sir that's what it means yes sir mm -hmm. sorry about this the one of the common uh, reference by the evolutionists the, the those who believe that uh, human beings were uh, created what we call creationist is that the second law of thermodynamics that is entropy is contradicting the whole idea of evolution because if you look at evolution it is it is refining yes sir whereas entropy says that it cannot refine it has to disorder so this is the one important point which is taken by the creationists saying that god has created what uh, how do you handle this question do you agree with it S sir uh, uh when we take as a system sir as i told you that in the system the entropy can be even reversed and if we take it system and universe the entropy will going to increase so sir if we take a particular species as a system then it will try to minimize uh, the efforts taken by uh, by itself to perform a certain task so in that sense sir evolution does not contradict with uh, sir entropy but it decreases entropy in a system but so overall the system will always disorder yes sir so system sir in uh, given the free form it will uh, it is going to create more disorder but sir uh, i think sir as a sir if we 
sister if a species makes an effort then it moves in a positive direction such as sir even we when we have to reorganize certain things so we have no, to replace let's effort. be very clear it is yes. like evolution saying that we evolve Evol evolving means that we refine yes sir. as you correctly pointed out yes it's a direct contradiction to uh, entropy sir i think i have to look about all it, right uh, you also mentioned that uh, this is a national level this evolution 08 is a national level techno cultural festival yes sir can a technology have an impact on culture sir yes sir elaborate in in the contemporary context sir right now if we see then uh, sir technology has uh, overtaken much part of our lives sir well whether we are using the small gadgets to the ubiquitous mobile phone it has completely surrounded us so if we compare our culture to, uh, in a temporal scale to the culture of our uh in previous generation there is going the difference is going to be very obvious sir, that we are very much uh, the more the technology we are getting surrounded with the more we are getting dependent on it sir. there is a issue of uh, fake news misinformation disinformation so how do we handle this because it is becoming a serious pernicious problem because it is also threatening the democratic you are right sir so sir, sir in this regard sir the previously we did not know when uh, this uh, social media boom came that how to handle it but sir now we understand that it is us as a person or as a society that we are not giving a critical thought to how to uh, about the source of the news so sir may, in many districts or many states they even in the google sir if you will see that there is a column for the fake news that they are regularly discussing and they are telling us how it is treated as a fake news so and also sir even the social media is used to tackle this fake news uh, menace by uh, making groups at panchayat level or at a certain uh, of, uh, official level so that the correct information can be disseminated no uh, if you're saying government as a or an authority as a source for uh, news then that is itself a problem uh, sorry sir i did not mean to say that i wanted to say that in a society sir the people who are responsible people who feel that it is their responsibility i think if uh, even if i am at a position that where i can uh, provide the correct knowledge then i must also do it to uh, the people who are connected to me so well we can all do it but at the end of the day what we see around is that the fake news is getting more credence as a policy making let's look at a person who is looking at the holistic nature of the issue what should we do sir we should disseminate the correct information in as widely as possible along with the rationale so that the the false information can be uh, cannot be given the required credibility sir the same pattern how do we do that how do we do that sir the same way uh, fake news is spreading sir through the social media through discussions through uh, through whatsapp messages or the okay, groups do you sorry to interrupt do you see it as a technological problem or as an educational problem sir i see it more as an educational problem sir mm -hmm. so because uh, if we are uh, critical in uh, analyzing the news then mass so of fake news will have no credence so sir. what should we do on that sir we sir uh, from the in education also sir uh, right from the middle school we can introduce uh, how to critically analyze or uh, disseminate any information so that in the future the same uh, the same generation all can right, all right i got it yes sir. now it's also a technological problem in fact in recently us has come out with a law where it is asking for algorithmic transparency are you aware of this sir uh, yes sir i am aware of this sir what do you know sir uh, companies uh, are using such as facebook uh, in particular was using certain algorithm so that they can increase the traffic and it was seen that if uh, fake news or the no you are giving a background what yes, do you sir. know about this particular law sir it's a law sorry sir i was not aware about the law i was aware about the concept and the associated uh, and the subsidiary question here why should i read fiction everything is false everything is fake it's all made up why should i waste my time reading fiction so there are many aspects of fiction sir sir first uh, sir at times there is a fiction which is very close to reality they use certain parts of reality 
such as if we talk about the Frederick Forsyth or Dan Brown, they use the part of reality and then they use their imaginations to construe a new picture. Second is, sir, when we want to uh, see an imaginative word or utopian word, where the solutions can come from, sir, because from imaginations also uh, at times solutions come. So in that sense also, sir, fiction helps, sir. It makes you a mature person. So. Yes. Last question here. Let's talk about since you're a mechanical engineering student. Let talks about uh, let's talk about air quality index. What are the parameters on which it is measured, and do you are you satisfied with all these parameters? Do you want any new parameters to be included? So air quality index is measured on uh, I think eight parameters, sir. Uh, that would be, sir, carbon monoxide, lead, NO, uh, nitrogen oxides. Sir, uh, hydrocarbons, particulate matter 2.5, particulate matter 2.10. Uh, All right. And uh, do you think anything new should be included? Sir, uh, yes, sir. Sir, in certain indexes, sir, NH3 is not there, and also CH4 is not there. Sir, and uh, as a ammonia is one of the major pollutants in the Indo-Gangetic plain. Okay, right. Now, uh, sorry, uh, but. There is an issue of carbon dioxide. So, uh, US has recently included carbon dioxide as part of uh, air pollution, whereas okay, in India we don't have carbon dioxide as air pollution, okay, air pollutant. So, do you think we should include carbon dioxide as air pollutant? You talk about methane to be included. Yes, sir. That's a different issue because it's a lot of organic matter which comes out, which which uh, emits uh, emit, yes, emits sorry emits uh, yes. CH4. Sir. I have to think about mm, sir. why it is not taken as a pollutant, sir. Because, uh, oh, sir, I am <coughs> not aware about that, sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay, okay, <coughs> okay. Dhruv, you are from sir. Madhya Pradesh, yes, sir. Such a beautiful state, but uh, it's a sleeping giant, it's not like Uttar Pradesh or something. Every day, something is coming in the news. Why sleeping, sir? I have to disagree, sir. We are moving ahead, sir. And uh, sir, we have been uh, uh, very productive in the agriculture. Uh, regarding the wildlife, sir, we have been the tiger state, leopard state, uh, ghadial state, and vulture state. Mm -hmm. Sir, apart from that, sir, and going to be, and sir, going to be. going to be the cheetah state also, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, sir, we, uh, apart from the largest forest cover, uh, if we look at uh, the culture, the culture is also. Uh, if we talk about the Ujjain and several other cities such as Orcha, then the, there is also cultural heritage. And uh, sir, uh, in other parameters such as uh, uh, Swaksh Bharat Abhiyan, sir, Indore and Bhopal has been at the forefront. Regarding the sir, economic activities uh, with reference to industries, sir, we are, uh, we want to catch up more uh, because there are only three to four areas which are uh, very much industrialized such as Indore and Bhopal. So on the same line, sir, the region of Gwalior and uh, the eastern Madhya Pradesh near Jabalpur also needs to be developed. So eventually, sir, we will get there, sir. Good. What are the forest types you won't get in Madhya Pradesh? So, sir, the major, uh, sir, it has a very diverse forest type. So uh, on the eastern side or the southeastern side, you will, will find the moist deciduous forest progressively transitioning to mixed deciduous forest. As we move towards north and westward, sir, it will be dry deciduous and uh, gradually progressing to thorny, uh, thorny and scrub, sir. As we move towards the region of Gwalior and uh, sir, western part. Please tell five important tree species naturally occurring in Madhya Pradesh. Sir, sir first would be Shorya robusta, second would be Tectona grandis, third would be Terminalia tomentosa, then, sir, also uh, other Terminalia chebula, Terminalia bellarica, and Eagle marmalos, sir, Madhuka indica. These are the few species. And, sir, also, sir, Esterculia orange from Google, uh, from which Google and uh, the gum is made. You mentioned about the cheetah translocation. From which country it is coming? Sir, it is coming from Namibia, sir. Namibia. Yes. And where it will be uh, placed? Sir it, sir, it will be placed in Kuno Palpurs. National Park, sir. Okay. Uh, in your opinion, uh, this is the uh, right step to take because already cheetah was ex extinct 100 years ago and uh, its experiment 
I want to know whether the logic behind it uh, of spending so much money instead it should have been used uh, for the development of the villages and all these things. Sir, uh, if we talk about the Kuna Palpur, sir, it is very much uh, um, uh, ready or I should say it is an ideal location for the animal like cheetah. Sir, the problem with the cheetah or the concern… But it was earlier thought that it is the second home of uh, lion, but it was a failure that lion was not given by the Thai, uh, with the, the, the Gujarat. Yes, sir. Despite the fact that Supreme Court has given its ruling also. Yes, sir. So now we have experimenting with the cheetah, the next time some other species. I want to know why this uh, fluid concept of uh, this thing? Why so the scientists are not firm or the forest officers are not firm about their, uh, I mean, their, their logic? Sir, if, uh, sir with, between the lion and cheetah, if we talk about both are grassland species and uh, uh, biologically they both are suitable there. And sir, second is cheetah got extinct in 19. 47 I think so and uh, after that there was no cheetah in India so through this there will be uh, increase in the biodiversity also sir that area we are using cheetah as a umbrella species whole uh, ecosystem can be developed and protected so not only that will increase the biodiversity mm -hmm. but uh, also sir ecotourism mm -hmm. in that area so eventually the people uh, adjacent to that area will have one more source of income and uh, so the only concern that lies is that it is an African cheetah not not an Asian one so uh, we have to uh, watch it carefully this experiment sir. Mm -hmm. okay uh, recently soil has got uh, importance uh, everybody is talking about the soil why it was in news also sir uh, it was uh, due to sir uh, one of uh, the eminent person that is Sadhguru and uh, he started the safe soil movement. Sir, there is a fact that uh, India loses, a, uh, is the largest loser of surface soil in the world, sir. And uh, soil is the basic substrate which provides the greenery and the plants which in turn gives the whole ecosystem. Also, sir, if we conserve the soil and maintain its uh, balance, sir, then the as soil organic carbon is the biggest component through which the carbon sequestration can be done. What is the organic content of uh, Indian soil? Some data has been already published. Uh, sorry sir, I am not aware of it sir. Okay. Uh, what, is the, what did you take about COP26? Was it a failure or it is a success? Sir, I would say sir, it, w it was uh, taken, has taken incremental steps sir. Uh, we have come uh, on the same, we are trying to come on the same page, but uh, there are still certain uh, decisions that are yet to be taken, such as the funding, uh, what would be the funding issue, and how we can be counting the uh, amount of uh, carbon that is being uh, means our how we will be determining the our INDCs. What do you understand by the Panchamrit? My Prime Minister uh, coined this word, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I cannot recall at this moment, sir. At least one. Five. Panchamrit, five. Very important. Yes, sir. sir Suddenly, uh, Prime Minister told there, nobody was knowing it. What sir, was that? Sir, 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 I just cannot recall it. I, means, sir, I cannot recall right now. Are you working somewhere right now? Sir, I am working in Indian for Ordnance Factory Services, sir. Okay. So, why you want to switch the jobs you are already working? Why you want to move to forest services? Sir, so there are many reasons, but uh, sir, the primary reason why I am, sir, I am already uh, in a comfortable position, sir. But sir, I, sir, I love the these aspects of forest, uh, and I have been associated since my childhood, sir. I belong, I was brought up in Chadol, uh, with where I have seen the sir interplay of uh, forest, where uh, the lush green forest, wildlife, and uh, travels from the up close area, sir. And sir, my father having been an Ayurvedic doctor, mother being a tribal education, in tribal <coughs> education, sir, they have provided me a view which I could, through which I could appreciate more about it, sir. And sir, every aspect of this service, sir, is very dear to me and I, sir, I just love uh, the things that it is going to provide me. And given any day, sir, I would like to switch from uh, machines to the lap of nature, sir. Got it. Can you tell me the hierarchy which is there in the forest services? Sir, 
सर इनिशियली सर एज अ प्रोबेशन पोस्ट इट इज़ असिस्टेंट कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट देन डिप्टी कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट देन सर वी मूव टू कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट देन सर चीफ कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट देन एडिशनल प्रिंसिपल चीफ कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट प्रिंसिपल कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एंड सर देन आई थिंक सर हेड ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट इन स्टेट सर ओके रेंज फॉरेस्ट ऑफिसर